Hi Libra, welcome to October 2017 and happy birthday! This is your month, your time to shine and the spotlight is on you. Now there's a lot happening with the astrology in October and it has to do with you and Aries, Capricorn and Cancer. And of course we all have Libra in our chart and so it affects all of us but you are the Sun in Libra or Moon in Libra or rising Libra or strong Libra energy in your chart and so it will affect you greatly. I am progressed into Libra. I mean I have Jupiter in North Node in Libra but my progressed chart Sun, Venus, rising, North Node are all in Libra and I do take transits to progression, progress charts and so I, I feel it too. And so just so you know, you know, just because I do this work as an astrologer doesn't mean I don't have my own transits. Like I don't have my own challenges. And, you know, for some of you, you know, you have been dealing with this Pluto Uranus energy directly personally in your personal lives. I can, you know, tell by, you know, the feedback you give here. And I always want to leave it open so that you have a place to come and share what you're experiencing and you know uh, some of you have thought it was Jupiter you know I thought all this great stuff Jupiter does bring great stuff but he can't mitigate he cannot transfer change you know Trump consume what Pluto is doing or what Uranus is doing or what Saturn is doing or what any of the others are doing Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto represent the collective consciousness. They represent events that happen to you or me that are outside of ourselves, that come from other people, that come from the government, the weather, hurricanes, tornadoes, um, organizations, corporations, uh, laying people off, being bought, being sold, events that happen to us that are external but do affect us personally. And for some of you, you've been in the, the challenges of Pluto and Uranus. And how do you know that? You're going through massive changes. Everything is breaking down or everything is changing, uh, transforming, transitioning. If you're going through those experiences, you are most likely experiencing Pluto or Uranus in your chart. I've been talking about this since 2008 since Pluto entered Capricorn. So we've all been in this uh, transformation for almost a decade now. Uranus has been in Aries since uh, 2010, affecting relationships for you. Pluto has been affecting your foundation and requiring you to change. And, you know, so it's not been easy. And I know that for some of you. Now, some of you, you've already been through it. So you know what I'm talking about. You've already been through, you know, everything changing. And you're on the other side of it now. But for some of you, you're in it. Now let's take a look and see what's going on here in October. The Divine Lovers, Venus and Mars, are coupled together in Virgo. And they are in harmonious energy flow with Pluto. Which can be the start of new and passionate love. It can be the start of... Uh, very physical love, it can be the start of new alliances, new agreements, new relationships. And they are on at the Aries full moon, however, the Aries full moon is being T-squared by Pluto. So Pluto is squaring the Sun in Libra, that's exact on the 9th, and squaring the moon in uh, Aries. For you, it is about speaking up for yourself and being assertive and staying conscious even if fear comes up for you or anxiety or negativity. These are sweeping the planet. The collective consciousness has a lot of fear and anxiety and negativity. You don't want to pick it up. You want to rise above it. And you can do that through your meditations. You can do that by being out in nature. You can do that by not watching the news, not getting pulled into uh, other people's drama. You know, is 
there's a balance here that we're seeking. Libra is about balance. And it is about what I need or, or, you know, with Aries, it's me first. It's about me. With Libra, it's about cooperation. It's about relationship. But Pluto is challenging both of them, which means there's going to be, we're shadow dancing. It's like we're getting an early Halloween here as we go into October. And uh, happy Halloween, if I forget to say it at the end. And, um, you know, and so it is, it is uh, very challenging. And, you know, as I'm liking this to the Game of Thrones uh, because it's very um, much of an analogy of what we're experiencing now in the world with this tremendous change and one group's in power, then that group's out, now this group's in power and they're f the groups are fighting with each other and uh, there's, you know, like there's incest going on and, you know, that's taboo. Pluto rules what's taboo. Pluto rules what's secret. And what are secrets? information we didn't have. Well, secrets could be coming out at this Aries full moon. Full moons bring things to light. So things we didn't know about other people or things we didn't know about the relationship. And um, there could be jealousy going on, guilt, shame, manipulation, hidden agendas, power plays, power struggles. These are all Plutonian shadow energies that are brought to light and for you, it's in the area of uh, your life as well as relationships. It can be uh, people you're partnering with. It can be family members. It can be, you know, business partnerships, colleagues, groups you belong to, the relationships. And so even though Venus and Mars are coupled together and in harmony with Pluto, Saturn is challenging them. And that can mean that... Uh, relationships are broken up, that um, people are violating the agreements that we form with them, or, or that uh, just, you know, terminating the alliance in here. So it's rocky at the end of September in these first few weeks of October because Pluto is T-squaring this full moon, and then the Libra new moon on the 19th, Uranus is exactly opposing it, but it does get better by the end of the month. Now, for you, it really is about you, um, you know, taking a stand for who and what you are. Talk more about that at your new moon. But here at this full moon, this is going to be, you know, there could be some sort of power struggle going on with you and your partner or other people. And, you know, yes, we want to be assertive, not aggressive. Because this energy can make people too fired up, too angry, arrogant, Martian energies, acting out in anger. But the thing, Libra, is if you're not being assertive and you're staying superficial to avoid conflict or to not upset things, then the passion dies. Then you're in a relationship where there's no passion. And, you know, that, that's not really living, is it? if we don't have passion. Now, we don't want too much. <laughs> we want balance. Balance is the key. You are the scales. You do rule balance and justice and fairness. And so, you know, for all of us, especially you, it is about finding that balance of, you know, and also, how can I be me while I'm in a relationship? You know, when we do the we thing, we can lose self in relationship. And if we're too much you know, focused on other people, focused on the partner, you lose your identity. And Pluto and Uranus are about authenticity. They are about truth. They are about <laughs> revealing the truth, the ugly truth. And, um, you know, if you're so focused on others that you don't know who you are anymore, that's going to be a problem here because these energies are requiring all of us to be authentic, to be real and truthful. And if you don't know what your truth is because you've been so focused on someone else or other people, then that's where you need to be working at this time. That's where you want to be working is, you know, spending time with you, 
being more like Aries and and spending time on okay who am I what am I what do I want what do I want out of this life what do I want out of this job what do I want out of this relationship and you know is is yes you want to ask for what you want but you also want to gauge the other person you know one person said I asked for a promotion or more money and I got fired you know you know it isn't just asking for what you want you have to understand who you're working for what's what's their benefit for paying you more money what's their advantage for giving you more money it's not in your boss's interest to promote you it's in your interest to promote you so you have to be providing more value you have to be providing more use value in order to attract more money we always have to be providing more use value and more added value if we want more money and so it's not just well I'm gonna go out into the world and tell everyone what I think <laughs> or I'm gonna tell my boss what I want you know it's it's you know is you, you also have to gauge where the other person's at are they going to be receptive and why would it be in someone else's interest to pay you more money you have to think about that and so you know these are energies that are going to be explosive and powerful at times and you want to be able to navigate them in a way where you are standing for yourself in a way that's appropriate and definite and solid you know but but that you're being you know practical and realistic this is what Saturn is doing here with the divine lovers Venus and Mars uh, you know squaring them you know is is you know what what's in it for me what's in it for you what's in it why why is this alliance good why is this a lot what do I need this alliance for you know how's it gonna benefit me you know this is human nature everyone wants to know what's in it for me everyone down to your kitty cat and your doggy do your doggy too <laughs> it's human nature but even in you know in the animal kingdom as well you know is plant life too water me right and so it is about really looking at um, these energies and how you know you are taking care of yourself but also aware of what's going on with other people and uh, navigating these energies well now it does help with Venus entering Libra on the 14th absolutely and the Sun will sextile Saturn on the 16th and it does help having Mercury enter Scorpio on the 17th and the new, the new moon in Libra <laughs> Mercury just turned direct today blah and um, you know so the energies are shifting now this is another powerful moon because we have the Sun and the moon coupled together in Libra very late in Libra um, almost 27 degrees exactly opposed Uranus at almost 27 degrees and this is coming out of the area of other people so other people are going to be you know making their position known with you maybe your partner or your spouse um, is saying hey I need this from you or I need that from you or or you know um, or maybe they're acting weird or strange Uranus can be the weirdest energy um, it, it just brings weirdness or strangeness you know to us but it's because it's shaking us out of our patterns and perceptions Uranus is the liberator and where does liberation start in the mind and what is Libra it's an intellectual air sign you rule the mind you're all about the mind you're all about communication you're all about thoughts and ideas and Uranus is liberating all of us Uranus is liberating you going live authentically be true to who you are take a stand for who you want you are and also it's about emotional freedom do you does your partner need more emotional freedom do you need more emotional freedom what do you need it will be brought to light at your new moon and you know this is important now the good news is there's a lot of good news here is Saturn is sextile the new moon and with Saturn sextile the new moon this gives you the tools and these tools are coming in starting on the 16th so once we get past the Aries full moon with powerful Pluto deep dark Pluto we can uh, see the light here with Uranus the liberator and with Saturn sextiling the Libra 
new moon, this is good news, is you have the tools to deal with difficult people. You have the tools to deal with situations. And Saturn is saying, Libra, work smarter, not harder. Work more effectively and efficiently in what you're doing and in your communication with others so that you are living your best life and receiving and achieving and getting what you want. And there's also a grand fire trine going on still this month, even at the Aries full moon and at the Libra new moon on the 19th with Saturn in Sagittarius to Uranus in Aries to the North Node in Leo. And so the North Node in Leo is your way out of crazy Pluto energy, crazy Uranus energy this month. And that is following your own star. That is staying positive, staying conscious, even when things can get a little bit weird or dark over here with the Aries full moon, uh, with Pluto T-squaring, because we can go unconscious with the energies. And when we do that, then we're projecting onto others our own shadow. So don't blame others for what's happening. Own your power. Ask yourself, how did I get involved in this? Why are my buttons being pushed? You know, what is, why is this you know, bringing out anxiety with me or fear or negativity? And then that way you're owning your power and you're not allowing others to have power over you. When we blame others or project onto others, then we're giving our power away and we're not owning the power. And the way out is to own your power, to follow your own path, to stay focused on your goals, stay focused on your hopes and wishes, and know that these energies will find the way for you to be liberated. And that is the goal here. The goal is for you, you know, with Pluto, it is about owning your power and being authentic and going deep and being real and even if it's uncomfortable, you know, be brave, be brave, and then you will have the reward with this energy. And with Uranus, it is about liberating your mind, liberating your life, liberating what you do, breaking out of old patterns and perceptions that are no longer serving you, having that emotional freedom, having that freedom to be who you really are without losing yourself in relationship or, you know, family or alliances, but really owning who you are. And when you do that, that empowers you to go to the next level and, you know, these energies are eventually going to move on. These are transits. They're not permanent. Uranus goes into um, Taurus in May. will be out of that area of direct confrontation with you. And, you know, this will be beneficial for you. Now, Jupiter does enter Scorpio on the 10th. And that is growing your prosperity. And so... You know, think of it this way. These moons are trying to empower you, are empowering you. <laughs> you can go kicking and screaming. But resistance is futile because if we don't invoke the change, then the change will come through our health issues or financial issues or relationship issues. And so, you know, change, it's better to not resist what's happening. So if you don't like something that's going on in your life, you're resisting it. I'm not saying I like everything. I don't. But I'm not resisting it either. I flow with it. And I try to understand too, you know, it's like, you know, when you when you live in a community and you have a lot of different people that come from all different backgrounds and they do things differently than I do, or they see things differently than I do. And, it, you know, I, sometimes I look at it and I go, that's really weird, you know, that they do that. And, or, or that's really weird that they're doing that. And then I, I step back and I go, okay, it's only weird to me because of my perceptions. But to them, they, it's normal for them. And so, you know, that's the key out of this is seeing it from the other person's perspective. And you're really good at that. You know, my concern for you is getting your needs met and being, you know, not being indecisive and being honest, you know, with what's really going on or what's going on in 
relationships and family and so on. Being really honest about, you know, not just staying on the surface, but really, you know, being honest, you know, is something working or is it not working, you know, and being willing to do that work to get to the next level. It's worth it. It's so worth it. And, you know, so for you, it is about looking at what you're receiving in these relationships and, you know, how you are uh, building wealth, you know, taking care of you and, you know, achieving what you want. Mars enters Libra on the 22nd. This is good news. And then the sun enters Scorpio on the 23rd. So as, you know, the, the sun enters Scorpio, Jupiter's in Scorpio now, Mercury entered Scorpio uh, on the 17th. That's all about increasing your money and your self-worth and your self-respect and your self-appreciation. And that's really what these energies are trying to do with the Libras and the Aries and the Capricorns and the Cancers is to really liberate you and empower you so that you are living your best life, so that you are building wealth, so that you are expanding and becoming more and outgrowing your job, outgrowing your situation so that you have more, so that you go to the next level. And that's exciting and that's interesting. So now you have um, Venus in your sign, you have Mars in your sign, and that will empower you and your relationships to smooth things over. So even if things get rocky around the uh, Aries full moon, with Jupiter now in Scorpio, it's going to start trining Neptune and Pisces, and that is spiritual love, twin flame love, soulmate love, harmonious relationship. And with Venus and Libra, Venus wants love. Venus is about love and beauty and connection. And that's going to bring alliances back on. And so, you know, even though things get a little rocky here in September, going in October, you know, you know, it's like people can find each other and then they break up or they just step back. Oh, it's too weird. It's too strange. As we get to the uh, third week in here, alliances are back on. So it's like whatever put you, pushed you, put you off about someone or a group or a situation, you can find that relationships and things improve dramatically by the end of October and going into November as well as um, December too that uh, there's several harmonious aspects unfolding long-range plans are being developed agreements are back on marriages and alliances are now being formalized love is in the air here in October very much and November and December and you know, yeah, we've got some bumps in the road. We've got some hurdles here to overcome. But, you know, I think that the overall message is that, you know, if you're being honest and truthful, these things, it's better that they come to light. It's better that the truth comes out and that um, you can act more effectively with knowing you know, with all the cards on the table and that's the good news and the energies start to harmonize more less conflict um le you know more in agreement so so it's like people come together by the end of the month and they were like wait we got more in common than not and we have more things to agree upon than not so let's go ahead with our alliance let's join forces because we're stronger together than we are uh alone and so let's unite let's partner Let's get married. Let's, you know, join this company together. Let's start this group together. Let's form these alliances and unions and move them forward. And, and that's, you know, how it's going to be. So for those of you open for love, it's on in October. It's on in November and this fall in the Northern Hemisphere, spring in the Southern Hemisphere. It's on. And... You know, even if, you know, there's rocks, rocks in the road to the road to love is not smooth, it's okay because they will get cleared. Love will improve here for Libra 
in October, November, and so on. For those of you coupled, you know, if there's challenges that come up at that Aries full moon or your Libra new moon on the 19th, you know, is, is be honest with each other and, you know, ask for what you need from each other. And, you know, don't gloss things over to keep the peace that kills the passion and you know really look at what you need and want in your relationships and you know be assertive and be honest and hear what your partner is saying cooperate with each other and then you you ride the wave and it does get better with venus moving into libra and that's right in the middle of the month on the 14th things start to smooth over things start to get better things really do start to improve and uh get better by you know the the um 22nd on where uh mars is now in libra and then the sun moves into scorpio and so it is a, a softer energy it is a calmer energy it is more of a harmonious energy for your partnerships personal professional and so on and money looks excellent jupiter is now in that area of your money and it's only going to get better and the sun is there now and mercury is there so things are really starting to improve in the area of prosperity and money and abundance and if you're not resisting the changes you need to make and you're going with the flow and you're you're doing what you need to do what's right for you um, then things are absolutely going to improve and it will improve your career as well so earned income is increasing and that means that your career can be improving as well your work whether it's a business you own or a company you work for um, your money is improving spiritually you know it really is about dialing into source and rising above the negative energies and you know keeping the faith and um, taking really good care of you you know because there could be a lot of new connections that come in here for you too in uh, October especially November too where you know Uranus can bring exciting encounters with others and fun people into your life and you know a lot of chemistry and attraction is is on so be patient with the ups and downs that can happen at these moons because things could really smooth out and improve for you and if you're taking good care of yourself that's the same too with your health is you know really taking good care of you so that you are uh, feeling good feeling strong and healthy and and that's the name of the game. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Libra, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and the work I'm doing here with you. So until next time, Libra, take good care of you, and you will see that the tide is really turning in your favor by the uh, middle of the month and absolutely by the third week in the month. Things really start to come your way.